Hello and welcome to AWS Tech Guide session. Today in this session, I will show you how to install Ansible in Ubuntu. For that, I will be using Google Cloud Platform and here I will create one virtual machine with Ubuntu. So let's start. I'm already logged into my Google Cloud Platform as you see. To create one new instance in Google Cloud Platform, you must be knowing or if you want to know in detail how to create one virtual machine in Google Cloud Platform, please check my past videos in the channel. I'm clicking on create instance, giving the instance name as Ansible, as I will be installing Ansible, not changing region or availability zone, just changing the machine type because I need to go a small machine, G1 small of 1.7 GB of memory is enough for me. And changing this image. So I'm selecting Ubuntu image and the version 16.04 is okay. Clicking on select, scroll down. I'm allowing both HTTP and HTTPS, clicking on create. And it is ready now. I am connecting it through SSH. Open in browser window. It will open the command prompt over here. Meanwhile, let me take you to our GitHub repository. At a glance, you can get all the required command over here. As you see, update or upgrade the server, add repository for Ansible, update packages, install Ansible, check Python installation, like this. So our repository name is github.com slash AWS tech guide slash script. You can fork this repository if you want. It is a public repository for your benefit. So let's go back to our Google Cloud Platform VM instance dashboard. And we were trying to connect our Virtual machine, yeah, it is connected now. So now let's update the packages first. sudo app get update. It has updated the packages. I'm clearing the screen now. Our next task is at repository for Ansible. So for that, I'm just changing the user to sudo user. And the command to add repository for Ansible is apt add repository ppa Ansible slash and Sybil. Click enter. It has added the repository. Now let's update the packages once more. So it is pt get update. It has updated the packages, clearing the screen. Now it is the time to install Ansible in this Ubuntu system. So apt get install Ansible Y. As it's showing it has successfully installed. Now let me clear the screen once more and let's see where it has installed. So in root user, we are here at root directory. So I am moving out from here and going inside etc slash Ansible should be here. And let's list all the contents of Ansible installation. And here you see that Ansible has been installed with ansible.cfg host file, which is our inventory file, 
and role the directory. So we will be working with the host file mainly. Now let's see what is inside this host file. So I am just opening host file in VI editor that is host. As you see everything is commented. So suppose I am editing this host file and opening the web server because in our next tutorial we will be deploying a Spring Boot application in Tomcat by using Jenkins and integrating with Ansible. So we will be using this Ansible installation for the same. Here is our web server. I have one Tomcat server created. So let's go to Google Cloud Platform. I have this Tomcat virtual machine created. So I am just copying this external IP which is public IP. So I have copied this going back to our Ansible inventory file and I am adding it here. Saving it and closing it. So in our next tutorial, I will show you how to use this Ansible installation integrating with Jenkins and deploying a Spring Boot application in Tomcat server. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any query, please write in the comment box below. See you in our next session. Thank you.